Hello everybody. So way home the other day it was raining and uh windshield wiper was all flop doodle. It's not working with uh the windshield wiper in there, it just kind of goes up like this and goes back down. And I shouldn't be able to move it like I'm moving it. You know, if I go to the other one, it doesn't it doesn't move. So there's something a little foobard with this one. Uh, so first I'm going to check this uh, bolt that holds the wiper to the axis or the axle. Um, to get to it, I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood. Uh, and then I have a wrench and a screwdriver to help access that. So I'll get the hood open and show you our next step. All right, so the hood's popped. And when you take this cap off, there's a nut. So pop that off. Don't lose your cap. Like I just almost did. And there's this nut on here. So sometimes this nut will get loose. And when you rotate it, it's loose and so it's not sticking. Now this one I'm a little um, worried about because when I turn it, the whole nut and everything turns. And so I'm thinking that if I go to tighten it, it's already, yeah, that's already tight. And so that's not my problem. I must have a problem with the whole assembly. So it's going to be a little bit bigger project than I was hoping. And to get to see the parts and pieces, I need to take the shroud off. Um, so that's held on a couple different ways. It's actually somewhat loose. Like this holds, this part holds it on. And then this, uh, this little rivet guy here holds it on. Um, and there might be something else in there, but we'll see. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and take this off by just loosening that nut. And then uh, see what I need to do to pop this thing off. All right, so we need to take this off and we need to pop this off. This looks like it's just a little plastic piece that's popped on there. So I'm just using a, a small crowbar. I'll pop underneath it and lift up on it and see if that pops it off. So it does look like there's a little tension piece in here. There we go. So you pop that off. There we go. So to recap what I just did, this piece had a little like key in it in a way. And once I popped that key off, kind of like a drywall anchor, it opened up this here to be able to compress and that popped right off. So that was a lot easier than I, that I, was, I thought it would be. So with that off, now we need to take this piece off. So we can see what's going on under there. So just going to turn this the opposite way as we normally would. My arm's not too much in the way. When that nut loosens, spin this off. That pops off. So windshield wipers are off. Let's see if we can see what's going on in here. This will move. So it looks like there are a couple more pieces in here when you open this up you can see that piece right right in there there's another keyway you know, one of those little plastic pieces and then we would have to take this one off as well but we already figured out the problem when opened this up you look in there you can see that that knuckle right there is busted. Um, so I'm not sure I can fix that. I gotta do a little research and see what I can find and see if we can figure this out. And hopefully you can, you can see this, but right here is my issue. There's this piece right here, which when it turns, it turns the windshield wiper, All right? And this is the arm that goes on there See if I can get some light.
All right, well, I'm trying to, have a hard time getting, getting light to show. That's a little better. Um, but this arm piece was off of it and that goes right in there. So it should be all lined up and it should stay on there, but it's not, it's popping off, which means there's probably something broken inside that keeps it from doing that. So first thing I'm gonna do is grab some pliers, see if I just squeeze that, if there's something just popped out. Uh, so let me get those and we'll give that a shot. All right, so I've been kind of messing with it and I did clean out this top part. It had a bunch of gunk and probably grease and stuff in there. And so there's a little hole there and on the underside of here, you can feel there's a little like a uh, piece that goes into that hole. And I put them together. I tried crimping it, I tried uh, a couple different things, just thinking, hey, maybe it just needs to click back in, but there's no, uh, there's no way to get it to click and stay from what I've found. So I'm gonna give this some thought and see if I can think of something because I really don't want to buy a whole new assembly. I haven't looked them up. I'm sure they're not cheap. Uh, 160,000 miles on this car. I'm not really uh, wanting to spend a ton of money trying to fix it. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to give this some thought and see what I can come up with. All right. So after multiple attempts and ideas, uh, this is this is where I hillbilly it up. Um, so first, I put some just some tape around it to hold it together, while I went through and just put a crap load of zip ties around there because really we're just trying to hold these two together they're really doing nothing except preventing this piece from popping up and off of the uh, the other piece 100 percent hillbilly uh but it's gonna work for now um i gave it a little bit of test ran the wipers and it was it was working so i'm gonna go ahead and put this thing back together and i know what the issue is at least so if it happens again i can uh, get a better fix going um, I'm laughing at myself here. You know, you can make fun of me all you want in the comments because it is pretty funny. Um, just uh, tape and zip ties for the time being. And I'll probably try to think of something better, but let's be honest, until this doesn't work, I'm not gonna change it. So this is where we are. Um, I put them in alternating directions all the way around so that they kind of hold each other in place. Uh, originally, I just tried to do it in one direction and when the thing rotated, it didn't work. Um, so let me uh, see if I can position the camera here and I'll show you exactly what it's doing when it rotates. So hopefully you can see that you know, what it's doing in by alternating the direction of all these zip ties, it holds it together because in one point it's uh, compression on one uh, on one set and then the other one is compression on the other set. So you kind of had to run them in different directions. Otherwise, they all like popped off when they were in the non-compression state, um, if that makes any sense. So that's where we're at. We're going to go ahead and put this back together. And to put it back together, you can pop this back down into place. All right, so to put this one back into place, we put our base, push it all the way down, and then take your key, I'm calling it the key, whatever you want to call it, put that in, and that secures that into place. And then we have our windshield wiper, which will come from the outside. And when you place it, try to place it where it would be at the start, because uh, that's where it's going to stay. That's where it's going to start its arc at. So usually you can tell by looking at the windshield itself, kind of where that line is. So I got mine lined up. Go ahead and spin on this nut. While holding it in place with my other hand, once we get close, grab our socket. All right, so that's there. So now 
I'm gonna come over to the car. We're just gonna give it a chest here. Turn the key. And it worked. So, temporary fix, which will hopefully last the life of my car because it is kind of old car. So, uh, we'll see. But at least if it happens again, I know what the issue is with that uh, spindle going down. You can actually kind of see it through this grate. So, that'll be good. Later on, I'll be able to look down there and see what's going on. Uh, if, I'll uh, post an update to this video uh, when I when and if I have one, if I have any more issues, or if I find a better way to fix that. But in the meantime, if you have any questions on this, please uh, put them in the comments below. Hit like, subscribe, and we will talk to you soon.